Hey there, Tony. Ready to discuss logistics? Yeah. Okay. Um, so here's what I think we should do. We need to rework the entire area. So we need to make sure all the drywall is out. It's covered in mold and we don't like mold. Um, oh, and there was another thing I wanted to bounce by you, if that's okay. Um, I don't, it doesn't really matter. I'm not sure what color we want to paint all the other walls right now, but we want to paint this wall back here white. Okay, white and this, this is really important. This wall is the only wall that's going to be white. And here's what we have to do. We have to paint a bunch of trees, just paint a tree line, and then Canterlot always goes on the right. And make sure Princess Celestia and Princess Luna are both on the Canterlot balcony. Now, in the middle, what we want is the main cast, but not like the typical main cast. We want us as ponies, get it? Okay. I want to be a unicorn pony. I want Ted D'Angelo's to be a unicorn pony. Mm. I want Harry and I want Ronnie to be Pegasus ponies because I think they make really good Pegasus ponies. And I'm not sure on the cutie marks yet. I'll give you drawings. <laughs> oh my god, this is so exciting. Okay, and I'll give you drawings. And um, other than that, I'm not really sure, but I'm definitely going to get you a sketch. Uh, you think we can do it? Mm. Good? Yeah. That's great. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> Tony? Oh, hey, Harry. What, what the hell are you doing here? Destroying the station? Nah, the hurricane pretty much did that for me. Well, then what are you doing here? I'm rebuilding. <laughs> no, I'm serious. What are you doing here? I am being serious. Monica hired me as a contractor. I see. See, she spent all the money on the supplies that uh, she was being sent you with the contractor. That makes sense. Okay. For your information, Mr. Glasses. That's Detective Glasses. Thank you very much. Excuse me, Detective Glasses. I was actually a contractor before I was a cop. When? High school? Actually, in college. My dad was a contractor. He taught me everything I know. Helped me pay my way through college and the police academy. I actually kind of miss this kind of work. Is that so? Yeah, you know. I like being my own boss, working with my hands, not being told to get coffee all the time. Well, that's good for you, Tony. Morning, Tony. Hey, Bill. Morning, Mike. Wait, wait, wait. You, you knew about this? Well, what? That Tony was hired by Monica as a contractor to rebuild the station at the Hurricane Arena? Of course I knew about all. You didn't know? Uh, no. Just think. My desk it has to be right there. I stood up, I would sit here, answer the phone, which was here. I had my stuff here, I had my awards here, I had my papers here. And I found your desk. Ta da! Actually, sorry, my desk was actually perfectly right there. No, it was one of the No, I remember sitting Well, no, there. because my desk lined up with it. I can see, well, no, because it was right here. No, it was right here. <laughs> something? No. no. Didn't think so. Randy Swanson just posted another video for us. Lovely. What did they say this time? Well, if you would be quiet for 10 seconds, I'd show you. Hello. Hey, everybody. I know it's been a long time since my last video. Uh, 
apologize for the wait, but uh, we're kind of in the run for the law. Just you know, to speak. Uh, I think I killed somebody. At least he's being honest. Shh. I, I, I don't know the guy's name. But I know this. His name is Troy Summers. Will you shut up? Alright. I don't even know this guy. <laughs> he was just a, a cable guy, for Christ's sake. I mean, <laughs> clearly, this is the government trying to silence me, trying to silence the truth. Uh, the first time I posted a video that they would be watching me. Because they always watch. Whenever the truth to try to get out. But that's why I'm vlogging. It's not for me. It's not for you. Them. I just want them to know that I know all their dirty little secrets. Secrets that are just bigger. Secrets that are much bigger than GPS trackers in our watches. With little LED lights on our TV recording your everyday life. What other kind of secrets could there be? Learn to take a hint, detective. As I stated before, I'm innocent. I would never, never kill another person. And especially not one that works for the government, helping install cameras in my television with their little cable boxes. They're not fooling me. Well, I, I gotta go. Expect more soon. Can I talk now? If and only if you have something useful to say, detective. How about Glockenspiel? Don't push me. Well, according to the almighty YouTube gods, this video was posted yesterday. Why don't we just get a trace on it? I mean, I'm sure he's left wherever he uploaded it from, but that's still more of a lead than we had before. Well, the DA's working on that right now. The only problem is, thanks to the almighty YouTube gods, we're going to have to wait for the IP address. So in layman's terms... We don't have that much time. We have to find Swanson on our own. Don't we usually have, like, undercover cops and stuff at these conspiracy meetings? Usually we do, but after Irene, we've been totally downsized. Why don't you let me try? What exactly do you hope to accomplish, officer? You may not know this, but I myself am an almighty YouTube goddess. You want to try that again in English? I spend a lot of time on the internet. That I understand. Actually, she's right, Lieutenant. She spends more time on the internet than I do at Harry Potter conventions. So she's pretty good for the job. Yeah, yeah. Just just give me a try and I'll uh, find something for you. No problem. Alright. Fine. Do your best. Shoot me a meow if you need anything. Well, meow. I cannot believe I work with these people. What are you guys doing? Oh, Bill. Randy right, Swanson put another video up. Want to see it? No, I already saw this one last night when he uploaded it. What do you mean you already saw it? I, how? Um, because I subscribe to his YouTube channel, so I'm notified when he uploads a video, so I can keep track of him. Didn't you think to do that, Detective Glasses? I did not think to do that. Sir. Tisk tisk, Harry. Tisk tisk. Get with it. Hey, Come Bella. On. Coffee cup's looking a little dusty there. What? No one gets coffee in a while? Yeah. You know what? You're right. You should probably get me a fresh one. Yeah, man. I don't work for you anymore. <laughs> fresh coffee? I don't work for you anymore. Thank you. Sure. Shouldn't you be using, like, a ruler or something? Uh, I don't need a ruler. I can eyeball it. I got this thing about right. What about one of those, like, laser levels? No, I don't need a laser. But they, they go around corners, though. You can draw the line all the way around the corner. Yo, I, I don't need a laser because I have a bubble. That's... Oh. I don't know. Okay, okay. Yeah. What about the electrical stuff? Shouldn't that be taken out before you, like, even start eyeing off things? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to get to it. Yeah, do you, uh, do you have something to do? Or? Not really. So what, you're gonna cut all that? Yeah, listen, I, I don't know if... I'm just trying to do my job, man. I mean, 
Now listen, I don't know if there's a kitchen around or something. I'm not trying to be sexist, but I'll build you one if you want a kitchen. A kitchen? But yeah, that's where you should be. I'm going to do my job. You, you should probably... Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do my job. Oh, I said I built you one. Except for the earthquake and the flood and the hurricane. Well, we should get a new station. Yeah, I'm working this case. The really? Comcast repairman guy was killed a couple weeks ago. How's that? Someone beat him to death with a telephone. No. Oh. Well, it's interesting. Yeah, he won't be getting a bill. But, um, we really think it's this guy, Randy Swanson. It's the guy who owns the house that the cable repairman was killed in. Okay. He's, um. Guy called him and just killed him? That's what seems strange. Why just randomly beat a cable guy death with a phone? I mean, his prints were on the phone, but it was his phone, so it's not that crazy. Troy Summers, that's the cable guy, his wife came to see me the other day to talk about when she's getting her death benefits. I don't know, something about her, she just... She really didn't seem to care about how the case was going at all. Like, she didn't really ask any questions. All she wanted to know was, where's her money? Sounds suspicious to me. Yeah, it does to me, too. I mean... I don't know if I should just jump in there and tear the whole case apart while everybody's looking for Randy Swanson. It's just something about the wife just really didn't sit well with me. Yeah. Well, if there's one thing I know and learned about being a cop, you don't always like to be the bad guy and dig up dirt. But, hey, if you have a bad feeling about it, there's no harm in digging some dirt. She might just get a little mad at you, but, hey, if you find something interesting or worthwhile, it's true. She doesn't seem too unhappy that her husband has been beaten to death. She doesn't. She didn't ask any questions, any anything at all. Just wanted the money. So maybe you should be asking the questions. Maybe it's about time someone did ask her some questions. Yeah. You're a great cop, Bill. Are Thanks. You You're a good contractor. Yeah. As I've been told. Mm -hmm. You have time to get me coffee by any chance? Or I mean, I've or, been waiting. As much as I would love to get you coffee. I mean, I heard, so, I heard something about you building a kitchen, which I was hope would have some sort of coffee-making device. There's no power in the whole building. I would love to make you coffee, but... Unfortunately, we only have one generator. So, I right. do need my light. Have the coffee on my dust pile by the morning. <laughs> Thanks again, Tony. You're the man. No problem, Bill. Good luck with that psycho woman. Aren't they all? You can say that again. I'm on. If you're looking for Tony, he's in that room right over there. Shit. I'm gonna believe this. It's fucking hurricane pain in my ass. <coughs> Who the fuck are you? Lieutenant? <coughs> oh. Hey, Bill. Sorry about all that. Hey, Dust listen. Bowl. Listen, uh, you haven't seen my Malibu pen, have you? Your what? Well, pen I got in Malibu about two years ago cost me an arm and a leg. Uh, I, I saw it before the hurricane. It was on my desk, and now I can't fucking find the damn thing anywhere. So you're looking for a little, is it Malibu pen? Mm -hmm. In this pile here. Are you crazy? You know what, Sergeant? You have a point. Honey, get in here! Lieutenant? Yeah, no, sorry about that. Yeah, a little question. Mm -hmm. um, have you seen Dr. Wagner? I've been looking for him. Oh, well, uh, I hate to burst your bubble on that one, Sergeant, but, um, uh, Dr. Wagner's no longer with us. He died? <laughs> no, he didn't die, Sergeant. After the hurricane, he was transferred to Montclair Medical. Fuck. I had the fuck. We're not fucked over yet. I have a list of great M.E.s sitting on my desk right now. We should have a decision within a week. Wonderful. Um, by the way, do you happen to know where Dr. Wagner's medical reports would be? I need to see them. Medical reports? Somewhere right in here. You've got to be kidding me. Not kidding you, wish I was. Call me if you find my pen. I'll call it if I find your Malibu Barbie. Thank you. 
So these aren't organized in alphabetical order by section, genre, artist, anything like that? No. Not even simultaneously, sorry. That's... Any luck? Well, I've got his comments here and mm -hmm. his subscribers over here. You know he has a lot of followers? Oh wait, stop a second. I just back up one quick second. Can you a answer me really honestly? What the fuck are followers and what the fuck are subscribers? Are not, well, what the fuck well, are you talking about? You subscribe to a blog and then they show up on your homepage automatically every day. Well, I mean, whenever they post them. I don't believe everybody can follow this stupid bullshit. But people do. You know? It's crazy. Okay, so do we have any leads? Well, I made a fake YouTube account mm -hmm. and posed as another 9-11 conspirator. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to find any leads for you. Have you? No. No. Not yet. Not one. Not yet. Not one. No. Okay, so. We're sitting here doing nothing. Randy Swanson just sits in front of a computer, posts whatever he wants on YouTube, and everybody can just look at it, right? Right? Pretty much. I mean, a lot of people do it. I'm not saying he's any John Green or anything, but... Uh, well, that know. might stop, so... What'd you say? Oh, he's one of the Vlog Brothers. They're actually really cool. Let me, let me pull uh, up Stop, one. stop a sec. Stop, stop. What's a vlog, first of all? It's a video blog. Alright, what's a blog? You're kidding me. English. Officer, English. Remember, that's all I speak here. Did you not English. live through the 90s? Come on. Where were you? Iraq. Why? Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. 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 So, so I guess we've decided I'm an old timer now, right? Pretty much. Right. Okay, good. Well, got that out of the way. Sergeant Bill? That's me. Who is this? You know who this is. Randy Swanson? Don't play games with me. Yet. You said you wanted to talk. Now let's talk. Not how much time. They're listening. Okay. You said that you were innocent. I just wanted a chance to hear your side of the story. I didn't kill that man. I swear I didn't kill him. Okay. Let's say that I believe you. Can you tell me what happened? I don't know. I was just... Going about my business, and all of a sudden this cable guy shows up talking about how he wants to install a new Comcast box in my house. I know exactly what he was trying to do. And what was that? He was putting out a camera in my home. I didn't get one of those fizzy flat screen TVs because this is where I keep an eye on me. So what happened? I was hiding in the kitchen, and this lady came. Whoa, a lady? What lady? I don't know. She started yelling at the cable guy. Something about ch cheating or something. And then she slapped him. And, and then he started yelling back. And, and she started hitting him with something. What did she hit him with, Randy? It's very important. I, I think it was a telephone. It, it, it was a telephone. She started... She just started hitting him at, over and over again. And, God, they're gonna think it's me! That's not true. Listen, I know it's hard, but I need you to tell me this. This is very important. Can you describe to me what the woman looked like? Bell, you found my pen yet? Bell! Have you found my pen yet? No! Oh. Harry, I'm sorry, was it? Bell here? Just a second, what the hell are you doing here? Uh, actually, he gave me a really important job to do. He said I had to... Oh. Uh, dig through... Did he? This shit. ...in an attempt... Jesus. ...actually, to find this file. Oh, really? Oh, this thank file. you, Harry. You're a lifesaver. Yeah, I owe you one. Uh-huh. Look, see here. Look, hi. Hello. Oh, hi. Look, 
I was thinking. I know you said you wanted to build me a kitchen, and that's all really, really very generous and very nice of you. But I was thinking, don't you think it would benefit the community if we were to have a pet center in the station? I mean, just look, can't you just imagine all like the puppies and the kitties scampering around our desks, and we could feed them treats, and, and we could have the canine unit dogs too? And yeah, be, look, too. is that really heavy? Uh, yeah. I mean, okay, well, I won't keep you too long. Right, and then right, I was nice. thinking maybe we could have some fish tanks. No, don't walk away. <laughs> we could have some fish tanks, right? And, and goldfish on our desks and some birds flying around. And we have all kinds of pets here. I love animals. Like... Look, look, just to sweeten the deal, here's some cash for you. Mm. You enjoy that now. Thank you. Don't forget, mm. pet center. Okay. You're my man. address of Mr. Swanson. I was looking for Lieutenant DeAngelis. Uh, I think he just stepped out, but if you want to have a seat in our waiting area, you're more than welcome. The stool? Budget cuts. No, I'm not sitting on that. It's a good call. Watching it, I just had these shoes cleaned. The cleaning staff. Uh, has DA Stokes called Ronnie? Ring, ring. 910. Um, yeah. DA Stokes. Oh, oh, uh, counselor, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Lieutenant John DeAngelis. I'm okay. in charge here. You're the one Good. I was looking for. Yeah, excuse me. Um, uh, <coughs> I have a subpoena for you. Oh, that's perfect. You too, right? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. gorgeous. That is wonderful. Hmm. Hey, Megan, I'm just looking for you. Why are you sweeping? I told you before, lady, if it's dirty and you leave me around cleaning utensils, I'm going to clean. If you don't want me to clean, don't leave these utensils around. What are you doing sweeping? You're a lawyer. You shouldn't be sweeping. This is a job for a janitor! I still have a pile. Look, I need to talk to you about Randy Swanson. Oh, right? funny. She just gave me the subpoena for his YouTube records. Oh, that's the, the subpoena for Randy Swanson? Absolutely. Can I take a look at that? I, I don't sure. know if it has a fine printer. Sure, go ahead. What the hell are you doing? Randy Swanson is innocent. Tony? Y yeah. Oh, never mind. I found it. Okay. Fell too. That, that is him. Oh, okay. The wall's Monk. The wall's Monk. The wall's Monk. Bell, what the hell are you talking about? I mean that Randy Swanson did not murder Troy Summers. What? Bell, we've been over this. Wait, hold on, what exactly is going on here? All I know is that I worked my ass off to get that warrant, and now it's dead on the ground. Yeah. I'm sorry, there's going to be a funeral help for it this afternoon. Yeah, how, much, how much are we spending on that? Oh, Ten grand. Oh, great. Now look, this time I have some proof. Okay. Take a look at this. This is Dr. Wagner's medical report on Troy Summers that he filed before he left. All right. We've, you know, we've... We've been over this. We've seen this a couple of times, right? You know that. We saw the preliminary autopsy report, but not the final autopsy report. Everybody was so focused on solving this case, no one bothered to read his extended report. Okay. Now, Troy Summers' head was too bashed in and covered in blood to notice this at first, but as you see right here and right here, Dr. Wagner notes scratch marks on Troy Summers' face. He says they're most likely caused by fingernail scrapings from a slap. Okay, so maybe he fought back. 
small pieces of fingernails were found inside the scrapes, and the DNA that we recovered from that does not match Randy Swanson. Someone else was there that slapped Roy Summers. Well, maybe the fingerprints are unrelated to the murder. His fingerprints were on the, the murder weapon. Yes, because the murder weapon was his phone. Do you have your phone on you, Megan? Can I see it, please? What are you doing? Why, thank you, Megan. So I have Megan's phone, and I'm wearing, I put on a glove, uh -huh. and I start bashing Officer Sakula to death with this phone. <laughs> now, Megan's prints are on the phone. Uh -huh. Do we arrest her? <laughs> you know, Bill, uh, really quick, could you do that again? I didn't really see that. I was laughing too hard. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> that freaks thank me you. out. Thank you. So you honestly believe that Randy Swanson didn't murder Troy Summers? I do. Okay, why? Oh, because I talked to him. You did what? what? I left a comment on his YouTube page with my phone number and I said, you, you know, give me a holler. Sergeant, you realize what you've done? Mm -hmm. You brought that call to us, we could have traced it. You basically just let a murderer go. I didn't let a murderer go. He confessed his innocence to me and he explained what really happened. Look, he thought that Troy Summers was arriving there because he worked for the government to install some sort of camera in the TV oh, to keep an eye on his this. everyday movements. That's what he believes. Here we go with this again. You believe this guy? I do believe this guy because he believes this to be true. So, he, in his mind, he's not lying. He hasn't lied to us about anything else. Look, he says he was hiding in the kitchen, keeping an eye on Troy Summers while he did whatever he was doing, whatever it is that Comcast does that gives bad cable. And then a woman entered, started an argument with Troy, something about cheating. She slapped him, things got real heated, and she picked up a telephone and beat him to death with it. Oh, well, you know what? I'm totally at a loss. That sounds like a crappy alibi if I've ever heard one. Well, then clearly you've never been married. John? Actually, he's got a point that is not a crappy alibi if you're married. And here's the real kicker. The description that, that Randy Swanson gave me about the woman that beat Troy Summers with telephone uh -huh. suspiciously sounds exactly like Troy Summers' wife, Maria. Oh, jeez. You're kidding, right? Nope. Oh. Just because a woman asks about death benefits doesn't mean she murdered her husband. Yes, it does. That it is, Cap. You really think Miss Haggerty is really prepared to fork all this money out for this? Yeah. <laughs> Why, did daughter? Back in Miami, when she was district attorney? No. But now? I'm not so sure. I know she always had money to burn, but... What? $10,000 for demolition? Mm -hmm. Another thirty-five for reconstruction? French drain and sub pumps? I'm not even sure what a French strain is, but it's eighteen thousand dollars. Neither. Don't even get me started on that new forensics lab. Well, Cap, I get your point, but all due respect, what do you want me to do about it? We do need this. Don't get me started. I know. We do. Besides, you recall correctly, sir. I'm not the one that wanted her. <laughs> you did. Don't blame me. Orders came straight down from the chief himself on that one. Yeah. You know what? Honestly, I still don't trust her. But for the time being, she is doing something that's going to benefit us in the long run. Yeah, I'm aware she's doing a good deed. But I don't know if we should owe her this much if you catch my drift. Why? You just going to ask for a favor somewhere down the line? <laughs> <sighs> I honestly don't know anymore. Certainly not back in Miami. But John, if she gets in a jam, we're going to have to write a check for her that we can't cash. Well, you got to think about it. Is that the worst thing? Worse than losing this entire building and losing the whole department of transfers? Let's get back to you on my one. The French drain looks amazing. Uh-huh. The great square. Yeah. Especially when I had quiet. Uh, I think Harry was calling you. Or he... Was he? Something about a desk. Uh, yeah, yeah. A desk? Yeah, he's probably, uh... You just gotta see what that's all about. I... Okay. I sure. Him. Well, uh, keep up the good work, okay? Oh, thank you. Okay. It means a lot. Oh, goodness. This is so great. We get started on that kitchen soon. Hey, boss. How you doing? Oh. Hi. How are you? Uh, Sorry, I never introduced myself. John DeAngelis. Yeah, it's good to find It's good to meet you, too. I, I want to say, on behalf of all of us here, thank you for what you're doing. Uh, I really appreciate it. You know, none of us can get back to work without it. Yeah, it means a lot to me that someone with some testosterone is telling me that. Mm, not I some, bet. Not some, yeah. 
Speaking of testosterone, I have a quick uh, little question for you. Uh, have you met, uh, by any chance, uh, Officer Sokola? Short little thing, purple jacket on, black shirt? Yeah, I, I'm gonna go get her a kitchen. Okay, uh, just one thing, on that note. Uh, can I actually do me one little favor? Um, sure. Whatever the officer tells you to do, just don't do it. In fact, don't even think about it, okay? All, All right. right. And that's for you. Thanks a lot, I appreciate this. What is this? That, Ronnie, is a cup. People use it for drinking. Most importantly, Maria Summers used it for drinking the other day while I was talking to her. Uh -huh. And you will find her DNA on the rim there. Oh, so I would ask of you, what's that? Come on now. I can't come on now, I'm busy. I need you to take this and get it run for DNA ASAP. Now, you know what? I'll do it. I'll get them right. right. And when I, say, when I say ASAP, I mean let's call Maddie and have her do us a favor. You got it.